Hello friends, this is Odds wearing a headset even though I'm not listening to anything and today we're back with the highly requested top tier killer showdown series. In the past we've compared Hunters to Deadslinger, Cannibal to Hillbilly, we've done Pyramid Head to Nemesis and today we have brought two really nutty players, pit them against each other playing the Artist and the Plague. Both of these killers are very very high tier and very common in tournaments these days and some people just didn't realize how strong they can be until you see them in a controlled environment like this and we get to see all of the angles. I'm going to show you the best two matches that we had with each, although I can already tell you that the artist definitely outperformed the plague. It might be that play was a little bit less lucky that she could have been, but Artis is a ridiculously oppressive killer and if you've never seen a high level Artis play, in a semi-competitive format like this, you will honestly have your mind blown by these games. I'm gonna go right into them and of course please check the description both to find the playlist with all of these videos and to see the players that were involved so you can go check them out, show them some love. Let's get started with the artist game and then we'll go into the plague one. Alright, so in just a few seconds we're gonna jump into a semi-competitive scripted <laughs> custom match okay we set this up it's not a public game but it's also not a tournament it's more like a showcase we have hence laser eventic okay nina uh facing off against nightlight who as i said is a very condecorated competitive player and this time he's playing artist on a very artist friendly map and it's a very crazy thing to me that you see an artist in comp and I've seen this multiple times, run the perk, Monster Shrine, Scorch Hook Monster Shrine, how insane is that? And presumably that's there to make people die faster on hook. I'm mad, mad interested in seeing what happens here. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't quite understand the strategy here myself. I think Nightlight's strategy is basically... Um, I'm gonna hold this middle, no one get through me, and I'm gonna try to get a ninja, potentially a down, around the town co before corrupt happens. Okay. But if he gets called out, these birds lose their effectiveness quite quickly. And the person that is injured, I guess, has a lot of time to heal. Oh, there we go, we have a, we have an intruder. Getting through the map, difficult as, as it might be sometimes. Uh, Nina is bearded up, and... She took a hit from across the map! Crazy stuff! We're gonna maybe confirm whether basement's here or not. Big min games going on. Uh, seem to actually really work! Well done! That's gonna be a hit. Uh, maybe a hold forward from or Nia, who is hence. Will she make it through the map? And why is our artist so preoccupied with this corner? Oh my god. I guess they really have a meta game going on in their head that they want to play out. They have a plan they're sticking to here. Very quickly set up bird. Uh, that's gonna be a hit, but can it translate into a down? And if it's not a down, how can they win this? I'm, I'm, I'm very interested, guys. But don't forget, survivors don't have boons, don't have multiple medkits. They're, they're playing with limited resources here, so... Oh, 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 oh! No injure for... Eventek. Meanwhile, uh, Laser, who's playing Laurie, is still on, a bit stuck here, and so is... And so is Hens, it seems. Okay, I wouldn't want to play against an artist with this add-on in this place, um, I tell you that. But they played it really well. Okay, that's that's gonna be a hit. That art? And, okay, he's seen that before. Hold on to our... To our bird lady. What's the strategy gonna be now? All right, so if Corrupt wasn't up, uh, wasn't up by now, it would be disabled. So it looks like, does he have a three gen of swords? All right. It looks like he's in a really tricky spot for rescues. He's gonna try to keep the distance of 24 meters, so Hens dies quicker. And if we hover over to Hens, we should see a red indicator that uh, right here on the bottom of the screen that tells him, hey, you're dying 20% faster, which means you have about 50-ish seconds on the hook. And I don't think I don't think this can be a rescue. Oh! They dodged! Oh no! Stopped at the last second! It's gonna be an exchange, but 
an exchange with deliverance. That's no accident. That's a huge part of the strategy. Will it be a safe rescue, though? It looks like it will be. Deliverance on in three, two, there it is. Uh, killer is not playing nice this time. It's kind of crazy that the person got... Yeah, well, now you see what Matias Baby Shoes does. It's the add-on that shows you the aura around the bird of any survivor that steps near. If they have DS, which they don't, they would have been infected by the bird, and they could have been down really quickly. So placing the bird right next to the pickup survivor is basically an anti-decisive strike idea. Oh, will that work out? Not quite. Freaky behind this rock did some crazy maneuvering. Uh, will we see his aura? No, he decides to back eight that loop altogether. Takes a hit for it. Oh my god, you might go down! <gasps> he was literally going to go down there. Uh, well, it will be a repeat. That's a down. Yeah, oof, oof. And don't forget this person on the hook. Are they dying quicker? Was that a scorch hook? It wasn't a scorch hook. Well, they're dying in about 10 seconds. Oof, 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 oof. Remember how slow that early game was? Crazy, huh? Okay, this unhook is hard, but they, they're good, they're, they're maneuvered. Nina took a hit? Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. We saved the person that's in trouble, but oh my god, they have several people on the ground and no unbreakables. Nina on the hook now. She really did her best to help, and she does have some really good perks to be here. If she gets unhooked, second win will heal her. Uh, if she stays on the hook, uh, kinship will pause the timer for a long time. So I think what, what she did there was try to protect and make sure that that unhook could happen. So it was unfortunate that she went down, but oh my lord, what just what truck just hit this man? It was unfortunate that she went down, but that might have actually been the only thing that could have saved them. Uh, the team is picking itself up and leaking its wounds, but at four gens, one person out of the game, this looks difficult for them. Goodness. And Freaky is in a bad spot. He's just straight up in a bad spot. And I don't think you can play around this. Life might just save his life, though. Oh god, does he even make it around? Oh no! Oh, you see it happen, but what can you do? Oh man. Also, basement. Oh my goodness, basement artist is rough. She can send birds that travel downstairs and hit you as you come out. And basement will have a scorch hook uh, properties because of monster shrine, which means that the moment this lady steps out a few meters first, call O'Brien on the gen, of course. Make it regress fast. That's the right perk from Sadako, makes gems regress quicker. And now she's gonna step out 24 meters away, which shouldn't be too difficult. And now Freaky is dying faster than usual. Well, I didn't really believe in that, but goodness, man, it's hard to argue. Uh, those birds are not meant to down people, they couldn't. Ooh, nice place by Nina. Um, I think those birds were scouting birds. They were there to just find someone trying to sneak into basement. Nina might do an exchange here knowing that she has kinship, but the artist will set a bird and then follow. <gasps> did, did that bird stay despite the thing? Oh, bird going up? Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, Nina with the champion tanking! Very good! No, don't go down, Nina! Shit. Uh, she did really good. She took both birds, but then she needed to walk in a not straight line there. Uh, th that's the very iconic nightlight. I should have hit that uh, mad moment. And while he's chasing Freaky, he's still thinking of the, of the state of the game and trying to harass people and other gents across the map. Crazy stuff. Let's have a look. No self-care. Not that it would help. And no, not, not enough charges on that medkit, I believe, so... I think their best bet here is to just... Um, do what they can. Uh, good life, though, gave Freaky some distance, and the artist is reading him like an open book. Oh! And I think at this point, it's safe to say that our survivors probably do concede that this is a victory. Let's watch it from Laser's point of view. Uh, very smart of him to leave the tile. And it's really hard to play these loops. Like, no matter what he does here, he's kind of screwed. Okay, he found that opening. Very good. And dead. And dead. You see the problem, right? If you, send, if you set birds one at a time like that, your cooldowns are just very short. And since our last person is just hanging in there, uh, I think we can pretty much wrap it up now.
Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Happy dance. Well done. Congrats, Nightlight. You played a really solid game. And congrats to the survivors. They put up a really good resistance. All right, uh, we are now, we've done a few matches of Plague, and there's been a, definitely a, a good warm-up from the Survivors. They've been doing really well. Plague has been, so far, struggling to keep up with um, with Survivors the same way Artists did. But I think that this map and this build is probably almost as mean as, as it gets. I'm surprised he didn't go for the Iridescent Seal, which I think could be even stronger. But other than that, we now have Deadlock, which is a very mean... Um, a very mean slowdown perk. And a very small map where n almost no fountain is too far away. Ooh, Nina's in a bit of a bad spot. That won't be a full infection, but it's gonna be a pallet drop, maybe. Alright, good job. Okay, Nina actually sees the upper. She had. Oh my god, I just noticed. Uh, she had smash it, chat. The reason she could leave that tile so well is because she had smash it. So that stun actually gave her a four second. Uh, head start, but she's next to a fountain. Is the killer gonna take advantage of that? Survivors are trying to do gens while also Oh, nicely done fully infected now They're trying to do gens while also avoiding infection because they don't want to be in a situation where three people have to cleanse or, or else No one can get the rescue Nina has done really well with very little but does she make it to a pallet or a body block? I think there's a window right ahead of her. Oh There was a window. I think she could have maybe taken it uh, well, that mistake might be very costly now. And or Plague has three fountains, and if I'm not mistaken, they're all literally around Nina. That's actually really scary. Uh, so far, the survivors stick to the same strategy they've done before. Insta, insta rescue Nina or whoever's on the hook, awaiting BT. Uh, insta rescue so that they can have. Oh my God! What's the play here? Does BT really last that long? He wanted to launch to body block that pallet. Pallet's not out and Nina needs to fight for her life. Let's see what she has to do that. Uh, lucky break. Running out and doing nothing. Kinship if she ends up on the hook. And little else. And Hens coming in for some help. Because if this first... Uh, it is, if this first hook doesn't turn into a second, they're okay for the time being, I guess. I don't know if I... I... Ooh, is that a down? Very narrow. Will there be someone there for the rescue? Oh shit, there actually will be! Oh my god, this person needs to be pushed out of here. And they're right next to a fountain? Okay, brother, I... Uh, pallet pre-drop just to cut her off. She knows... Or he knows he's not gonna get us done, and now... He dead hearts perfectly. Again, dead heart really caring. Oh, uh, that was a good idea, but not quite which, what was needed. Nina gets picked up, pallet drop to try to get the smash hit. Very unfortunately, doesn't quite work. Hens did a great dodge there. Lots of things happening right now. Ooh, that was a really good shot. Oh my god, okay. He actually aimed at the edge of the shack to make sure that they caught the person around the corner. And Hens needs to leave this corner now or this is going to get really bad. Now, fortunately for them, the lorry has unbreakable. So that person doesn't need Freaky to come for the rescue. Let's see if that's what's gonna happen anyway. Yeah, Unbreakable about to happen, and he's using it to get another rescue. What is the plague doing, though? Oh my gosh, he can hit you through! He can hit you through! Oh, I think that plague could have been even meaner than that. Uh, Nina... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. BT is running out in just a few seconds, you can see it. You can see it, the killer's counting in their head. Oh, Nina, take the window! No! Oh, okay, that's really sad. Uh, that being said, the, the, the Zoars have been doing pretty good. Um, two gents left. If they can somehow push through the final two, that would be really impressive. Seems like Blake's gonna try to capitalize on that. Um, Ivan having a very good idea that this gen is probably the one that they can do. Uh, in the most immediate of future. Another insane dead heart from Hens. Goodness me, that is actually insane. But unfortunately, in this bad part of the map, it just doesn't mean a lot for you. Um, Freaky picked up by Laser. Uh, it seems like their strategy is just going to be to cleanse and try to outlive this. Hence, has adrenaline. It will do nothing if he's infected. 
other than give him a speed boost. And now Eruption and Carlo Brian affect this gen. Not, not quite a clean 3 gen, but when you play against 3 survivors, I mean, what can you do, right? Plague just ran out of her power, so that was a very calculated timing, actually. Oh no, she's fully infected and... Hans couldn't take a hit. He doesn't have off the record anyway. He does have BT on him, though. So he could have taken a hit if that lined up. Oh, damn, I didn't expect that full infection, actually. And Hans is gonna get the... I really like you, treatment. I really like these these mind games that are probably second nature for him. He did the Dead Heart there. And goes down. And he does have Decisive, though. Is her killer gonna pick up the red puke before picking up, maybe? I think he's gonna try to fix up this mess by picking up this person. But in a map this small, all of those cleanses that they did a little while ago are now beginning to hurt a lot, I guess. Oh, really good! Ah, life! Go away. Our plague does not have the corrupt perch. Oh! And he's going for the person off the ground. Hence's decisive is up by now. If he gets caught, he's gone. And... Wait for the dead heart. Oh my god, that was a really good body block to protect him. But I guess latency just did not agree with that. Yo. That's why a small open map like this is, is best for plague, I guess. Kind of crazy how those mind games that he's doing right now would have never worked a few months ago. <laughs> he's happy. They would have never worked because of stretch rest. You would be able to see right through them. They still don't work too well against Blake because, you know, because she's tall, but... GG's from everyone. Well done.